holsters. Oh, okay, yeah. great. Okay. And she said she's going to use the Greeks going to do that. By the way, can you just the UPA? Okay. And so sort of as well. So, so we've got uh, Randy Ricks from the USA Grand Masters, um, who does the national anthems on his harmonica. He's going to be doing the national anthems for us here tonight under the uh, under the stars down here at the Discraft Arena. The floodlights piercing the uh, night sky, the flags fluttering, and the sights and sounds of Lignano Sabiadore, this uh, resort on the Italian Riviera, north of the Adriatic. <coughs> the Adriatic's been truly sparkling under the strong Italian sun all week. Uh, the temperatures have been high. Highs of 40 and 39 on uh, respective days. Has worn out the players in many respects. It's been very, very difficult to stay on the beach. Everyone reverting to uh, sand socks because of the temperature of the sand. But in the evening, and. Uh, under the floodlights here at the Discraft Beach Arena. All the players switching back to their preferred Good luck. barefoot. The sand is cool and, um, and in, in many ways refreshing compared with the humidity that the uh, air is giving. The stands behind me um, absolutely full to the brim. The stands on the opposite side of the pitch also pretty full. Our uh, standing cameraman, Patrick, from the United Arab, Arab Emirates team is doing a fantastic job. Thank you very much, Patrick. He's just going to pan around the crowd for us and uh, see some of the lovely faces on offer. The, uh, everyone's sporting a decent tan after a week in the Italian sun. It's been a uh, scorcher. Apparently the heat waves have been making news away from the beach as well. Yeah. So we uh, we have been reassured that this is unusual conditions rather than the norm for the North Adriatic coast of Italy. And uh, Max Vitali, the tournament director, just announcing the two teams going to be playing Canada in the red, USA in the white and navy. So uh, just hearing the the teams read out. Uh, 71, Ashley James. Catherine Seaborn, number 21. Catherine Yeo. And the uh, Canadians having a. Congratulating Max on his pronunciation on some of the more tricky names. The PA system in the uh, arena is a little bit difficult for me to hear Max read out these names, but we will go through with the full rosters for um, both these teams before the game gets in the way once uh, Max has finished uh, with uh, the rosters. So um, we do have Twitter down here on the beach. Uh, emails, um, uh, we've been getting all our emails that you've been sending us at show at Blockstack TV. But uh, Randy Ricks is going to do the national anthems for both countries now on the harmonica.
Andy Ricks performing on the harmonica there. As we have a streaker with the Canadian flag right round his neck. This is for the uh, Canadian ladies loving a bit of streak action. And I got to say, compared with our previous, uh, our previous streak was a little bit slower. Very, very rapid streak action there from the Canadian gentleman. And uh, the USA women getting an introduction. Tom, I was tipped off to that streaker actually beforehand, believe it or not. Is there, is there anything else? Is there anything else? No, 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 no. That's okay if you need a group, no worries. Like Mr. Microphone. Maybe another question here. Court gesture. I have no idea, I know, exactly. Yeah. So uh, Randy Ricks just switching up the switching up the harmonica for the uh, American National Anthem. Andy Ricks giving a good storming performance on the harmonica as we get this you, women's final of the World Championships of Beach Ultimates underway. We're watching USA versus Canada. And what is going to be a battle of two North American titans. Canada <coughs> lining up in the red and USA in the white. I'm joined in the commentary box for this one by uh, Legend of Ultimate, a man published about the sport in many different times and publications. There is a Tony Leonardo. Hello, Tony. Well, thank you, Tom. Glad to be here. Women's final. It's going to be a great matchup. Uh, these teams have a lot of players that know each other, and they're going to be familiar with each other on the pitch. Obviously, they played each other here uh, already, and they played each other in the States, and they played each other in many other locations. Paganella, of course, is another top competition spot for these women. And uh, we're going to see some, uh, some interesting matchups here. They play a similar game. They're going to want to play fast. They're, want, they're going to want to play physical. They're, they're going to want to hit the unders on the offense. And they're going to be, you know, in shape physically. And they're going to be uh, hard on the mark. Now, what can we say about the weather conditions out here? If you've uh, not, this is the first of our um, live web streams you've been watching so far. You'll be uh, wanting to know what the weather's been doing all week. It's been red hot during the days. We've had highs of 39, 40 degrees sometimes. But in the evening and under these conditions, the temperature's dropped. It's probably a comfortable 25, 26 degrees. Humidity is high. Everyone's wearing shorts and T-shirts. 
and they're quite comfortable doing so. Um, the sand is cool, that's the big difference here. Everyone's gone for the bare feet option. And, and you were describing it as a fast track, Tony. You played out here the other night. This is a fast track. The sand is not that deep. Uh, some of the other pitches are sloped down into the water, and uh, you know the surface kind of changes. This one is not. This is level with the water on the parallel, and it is a very fast. When you get out there under the lights, it's just really, really, really speedy. I think you'll see. You'll be kind of surprised at how fast they're going to be running out here on this uh, on this sand. Well, the sand's very, very. Um, I guess it's light. It's very fine sand very powdery you might see occasionally as the light catches the the powdery nature of this sand as it kicks up the dust the players running through it and it's comfortable to run on it's very comfortable underfoot it cushions your feet as you run and it enables players to really put their foot down and go for it and also fast changes of direction are easily possible you can stick a stick an ankle into the sand and, well i'll uh, tell you this i mean both these teams are grass women ultimate players primarily uh, there's some beat specialists here and there, but these women are used to playing on grass, and this is as close as they're going to get to grass is this type of surface on the beach here tonight in the arena. So this is a great surface for both teams. They're going to be looking to run, and uh, we're going to get the pull right away here from Canada, the USA starting with the disc. Uh, interestingly, there's no, you know, normally when you go to the beach, you dig down a couple of uh, inches, you find damp sand underneath. There's absolutely none of that here. It's been uh, baked dry for weeks here in Italy. And the sand is powdery and dry for the first maybe eight or nine inches. Certainly no sign of moisture out here on the beach. The game is underway. USA in the white, Canada in the red. And we got instantly a uh, low disc caught going to ground. Julia Weiner goes down for that. Let's see what the ruling is. I was blocked from the view. I didn't see if she got that up or not. The crowd uh, is going to, they're going to send it back. My instinct said close. My instinct said close. 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 Yeah. I'm not going to yeah. make a call. It's yeah. not my job. Great bid by Julie to even get to that disc. The throw from, I believe that's Anna Schott. On the field, Trudy Phillip was her handler for the United States over there. That might be shot with it. No, that's Tara Rainier. Rainier, it's a shot now. And they, already we have a couple of couple of calls. And out, number 25 shirt for the USA. Our roster is missing a 25 shirt for the USA. The rosters are all messed up. There's no 15 either. Uh, That's Marie Madera. She scored a lot of goals for this team. And right away, she's looking to score another one. The Julia got turned around. She made a hot bid on that, but that was a little bit of a tricky pass over the top of her head. Hard to really get the read on that. And it was a bit of a complaint there from the 30, uh, 33 shirt, uh, Laura Main. Oh, and we've got a disc going back. Already a bit of a choppy start to this uh, women's final. Uh, you know, each other. I, I talked to the, uh, a Canadian consultant, uh, and he, he said that you know they expected this to be a little choppy. Actually, at the beginning, he said the beginning was really key for Canada. They really wanted it's a short game. They wanted to get on top fast. They wanted to stay on top. They wanted they really the first three four points are key for them. And I talked to the Americans, and they said almost the same sort of thing. The Americans also said, and we'll get to that when they get on defense here, of how they're going to try to stop Canada. So anyway, this comes back to, uh, we believe that's Sarah Renier in the uh, number 15, whose jersey is not listed for us, unfortunately. Another call. Crowd is not happy with this. Finally gets this back. I think that's Radcliffe. I think that's, um, is it the 13 shirt? Yeah, that's Radcliffe. 13. That's too low. That's going to be a disc down on the ground. Canada's got a chance for a break right off the bat here. Is that Anne-Marie Carey picking it up? I believe so. Anne-Marie Carey with the disc. See what she's going to looking for. They know that the 55 is going to be a woman to start, but I don't know if she's on the field. Emery Carey with the big hammer. Is she going to get there? Oh, so unlucky. It was uh, the number 33 shirt making a big bid for that one, but uh, Laura Main unable to bring it down and control that disc. Was that a high stall count disc, Tony? It didn't look um, like the high percentage we're used to seeing from this Canadian offense. It wasn't a bad choice. The count was getting up there. She had two players there so if it macked up in the air there's a chance that I was gonna there's a lot of adrenaline flowing out there right now I'll tell you that Trudy Phillip with the disc sweeps it under Julia Weiner Weiner looking downfield for Medeiros one of their main scorers Trudy comes back there's a looks like it's a <laughs> uncontested a foul. there uh, Kate Cavalier getting a little bit too intense well she swung around behind her to try to swap the swap the swing and ended up accidentally running into the disc is what happened there just as uh, Trudy Phillip here was making her cut back to the disc so we got Philip Renier, Medeiros on the field, and Radcliffe. 
Julia again finds Trudy. Trudy is looking for something. Finds Radcliffe back on the, on the dump. The defense is, is intense. Medeiros wants to rip this again. No, she's not going to have the opportunity. Instead, she drops it back down to Radcliffe. Radcliffe's looking, swings it upfield. Renia has got to keep her feet in. She does. Renia gets it across the middle of the field. They've opened it up now. Julia rips that down to Medeiros. This could be a goal to start for USA. 1-0. A score from Maria Medeiros. And it's 1-0 USA, a goal from Julia Weinart. Great little pass there. They finally broke it open through the middle and got the space in the end zone to make it happen. Yeah, the whole USA team involved in that point, really getting the movement going. But a bit of a choppy, bit of a choppy start. The crowd really not happy with, was it five calls in the, in the first minute of the game? Yeah. But uh, let's hope we yeah. can not see any more of that. We want to see a nice, fluid game. Um, if people in the crowd want to see that, the people watching online want to see that. If you I are watching you right online, now, you know, they're jockeying for... Uh, position and, and ego in this game. I mean, yeah. this is an important part of this is a sport. I mean, this a jockeying for who wants to take the control of, like, this is our game, we're not giving it up. And so there's a lot of intensity out there, a lot of adrenaline flowing, and that's what we're seeing in these. And it's going to be the first three, four points, guarantee. And if it gets close all the way to the end, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> They're late into the evening here in Italy, under the floodlights on the Discraft Beach Arena pitch here in the center of Lignano, Sabia Doro. Rory Titcomb, we've seen her pulling all week for the USA. Has not made any mistakes so far, and she makes no mistakes again. Forcing Anya Hammond to pick that disc up deep in her own end zone and managing to find the uh, 28 shirt. Eventually finds Kate Jardine on the far side of the pitch. Nice disc forward to Mal uh, Lundgren. Lundgren uh, is going to be one of the main handlers for Canada. So uh, number 55, Melissa Lundgren, here with the disc. The whole goal of the United States is to stop her. Now, there's a big, big hook that's hanging. And it was the 77 shirt for the USA. Jen Sanderson getting a position early. And uh, looks like there's a call. Is there a complaint from the uh, Canadians? No complaint from the Canadians, it would seem. I believe it's a call, and oh, it's it going to go back. Yeah. going to send that back. A contested foul. I thought that looked like a pretty clean D, Tom, but we're at a little bit of a distance here. Maybe there was a body on it. So um, before the game, the United States was telling me um, that they, you know, they've been videotaping all of their games here. Okay. And watching the videotape to scout out. And so I saw them in the spirit huddle after the German game, and they identified who the players were to stop, and that's how they stopped Germany, part of the reason. So they watched the Canada game that they played earlier, and they know their key is to stop Lundgren, number 55. So let's see if they can do it. And uh, Kate Jardine is going to be another player we're going to see a lot of. Um, smaller stature, but a great player. And that curls. Oh, tell me that wasn't the intended target, Tony. That completely came out of left field but caught the whole American defense off guard who was it that was sharp in the end zone I think it was, uh, it was the number one shirt of uh, Aaron McHoney I mean that was uh, it looked a little bit of an odd angle coming in kind of quick and kind of fast and didn't did not look like the intended receiver on the other hand it went directly to her so uh, you know maybe <laughs> why not it's you a creative normally, look you would normally curl the disc the other way away from the defender but she um, she threw a laser in there a nice sidearm angled across the pitch and uh, we've got a game on our hands here one each is the score. Wherever you're watching, I hope you're enjoying this game. But, uh, you're listening to Tom Stiles and Tony Leonardo. On, Julia uh, Cottle with the catch there for the goal for Canada to make it 1-1. Uh, I misread the number. Sorry about that. Cottle, 11, was it? So uh, it's Jen Sanderson. That's Trudy. Trudy, oh, Trudy with the disc. Trudy Trudy with this is the same starting lineup, it looks like. There's Medeiros going along. What a rip. Can she get to it? Yes, she can. She's got that before the end zone now. She's got a streaker. Can she find Rigny? Oh, what a score. Lays it up there. Terrigné. Wow, that's a fast-moving offense right there. That was there. an amazing disc. And we, we, we've seen... Um, well, that was Carvalho with the score. Carvalho I'm sorry. Carvalho with the score. But we've seen um, Madaras making great deep cuts. And she's got some super stats for this week. Not only yeah. um, as for goals, but for assists as well. She's on a pretty good run, Tom. Uh, her team, uh, uh, University of California, Santa Barbara, won the, the championships in the college division. She was the top goal re receiver. She caught a bunch of goals. And her partner who threw all of the goal, almost all the goals in that game isn't even here. And that's how good that team was. And here, here she is throwing goals, catching goals, doing everything for them. 
It's the USA proving when their offense clicks it. Um, See how fast that move? It was, it was amazing. Yeah. The speed. And the last point for Canada, equally fast. Yeah, we're going to see a fast game out here on the beach tonight. No doubt about it. <coughs> well, we've seen one gold medal for the USA already and one silver medal for them. They're beaten in the mixed Masters final. But Lundgren now takes the disc on the edge of the end zone back to Hammond. Uh, they're playing a box and one on Lundgren, and they're playing her under. Number 21's guarding her just under. And try not to Ooh. let her get the disc out. That's Vegas. Kelly Johnson just guarding Lundgren under. And it's uh, it Aaron Mc, McMahon. McMahon? McMahon. McMahon. They don't pronounce the H or the O. Tom. <laughs> McMahon. You live in Aaron, Great Aaron Britain, McMahon. I hope, which... Ireland and Scotland and some other parts of those areas are close to. Floaty disc to oh, pure fellow disc to Lundgren. Goes to the sand. She comes to collect that 55. Oh, but makes him a say. Kate Jardine so Looks free like on the far end zone. No contest. No contest. Is it uh, Johnson? Is it Johnson there, the 13? Shirt? Kelly Johnson. They also call her, her nickname is Vegas. So there's a couple of Kellys on the team, and she ends up with Vegas. Rory on the defense here for the United States. Now they're looking for... For Lundgren, they finally swing it to her. Wow, she's got a, oh, what a throw. Oh, that wow. is beautiful stuff from the Canadians. Mal Lundgren opening the pitch, wide open, break force, inside out, floated. What a bit of touch from there, from uh, Mal Lundgren there. Serious business, Tom. That is a serious throw. That's someone who's playing some, some disc out there. It was like, I'm just going to lace an inside out forehand and put a little touch on to the far corner unstoppable for any defense well if you're into your ultimate stats check out Mal Lundgren's stats they are incredible she's played an absolute storming week for the Canadian women there's a lot of other players uh, getting on the board as well but uh, undoubtedly she's key and if she has a good game tonight and she keeps performing like that we saw her make a huge grab there from that disc up the line prepared to put her body on the line and throw herself down onto the sand for this Canadian women's team. And then when she picks the disc up, a little bit of touch, a little bit of poise, a little bit of um, composure. She the, is, the, uh, the question here, Tom, is do they have two or three different options on how to stop her? Um, you know, they watched the videotape, they saw the game, they have a game plan. If it doesn't work, do they have a backup plan? Here they are on offense for the United States. Ratcliffe with the disc. Swings under Medeiros. Medeiros to Weinert. Weinert's looking downfield to Carvalho. Finds Carvalho. Carvalho keeps her feet down. Now she's got a wide open, looks like uh, Marie Medeiros. Broken coverage play, easy score for the United States. Wow, we're on serve here, 3-2 USA. And uh, Laura Main and Hadia Rodrique, uh, miscommunication. Both of them had come to mark the disc, and uh, they had a little bit of a crossword between each other there. Uh, Rodrique thought that she should have been marking the disc. Main was closest to the disc. It left the USA player wide open in the end zone. The sort of mistake you're not used to seeing at this sort of level, Tony. Well, yeah, I'm kind of surprised. I wonder if they're doing a switching D and maybe they got caught up in a switch. Um, or if, you know, that maybe they're like Medeiros, no Medeiros' stats, and they're trying to do something on her and got, you know, again, they expected her to go under and then she went out deep and, and got switched up. I'm not sure. So 3-2 is the score, USA. But everyone's scoring there. Everyone's scoring their D points. We've seen a couple of mistakes, though. The disc has been turned. And we see uh, Rory Tick come number four for the USA. See another one of these pulls. They've been uh, very good. She was out practicing her pull before this game. It's high. It curls. It floats. It's going to knife down. Difficult disc to catch that. The Canadians letting go to the sand. And Hammond now. Anya Hammond. Uh, 22 shirt. Passes out to Lundgren. And Hammond goes deep, but uh, floats over the top to Kate Jardine. Kate Jardine in space. Finds Hammond again. Nice undercut from Hammond. Floats the disc into the path. With the 28 hurl sends it deep. He's going to float. It's going to be a perfect disc for the Canadians. Oh, so close. The layout was just a, an inch shy of the disc. She got a hand to it, but she couldn't quite grab onto it. It was the number one. Crowd's Shirts getting a little bit McMahon. buzzed right now. But the USA starting quickly. Let's see how much energy they really have. This is the type of point they can write. Rory with the disc. Does she get a jacket? No. She swings it back under to Anna Schott. Schott's got Sussman on the side. Decides to hold on to it. Now she's looking deep. Rory's now looking deep. No, they got nothing. They're going to they're gonna be very patient with this. This is a good call. A fake on that one. 
She wants something. Sussman's got to get, uh, trying to get involved here on the sideline. Swings it. Oh, no call. It's a good non-call. Shot kind of almost looks like she got the disc, but the pressure came on under her. It was Erin Aaron McMahon with a great block there. I'm not sure if the, the disc had been fumbled, but the mental pressure of McMahon coming in hard and sure contributed to that. And she breaks the force again. This time, Lundgren not successful. Trying to break um, around the strong force of uh, Megan Insko. This intense adrenaline out here is going to run out for both teams at some point. It's almost like the, the Italy-Philippines game we saw at around sixes. You know, uh, I know. I think Italy was up by two. They kind of lost a little bit of their energy. Philippines gained it and then lost it at the end. We'll see if that's similar here. Okay, USA back with the disc. Adrenaline floating high. Get it up the field. Nice quick swing movement. Sussman with the disc. It's nice work from the USA. Swing the disc. Rory now Titcomb, she sent it deep. Open adrenaline. This is going to be an easy score. Great put by Rory Titcomb. And the USA with the first break of the game, they take this one out. 4-2 is the score. And uh, Canada succumbing to the pressure of that hard-running US line. Gets that to Megan Insko for the score. Nice little movement there. They took advantage of the turnover. Uh, Lundgren's uh, I.O. forehand was a little too much this time. And uh, USA is able to stay I believe on serve, but it looks like it says 4-2. And I know, it's, uh, that, was, that was a break to USA. Oh, that's an important break then. So we, we, we said earlier, Tony, that uh, Lundgren was key for Canada. And if, if we said also that if she plays a great game and she makes no mistakes, then it's going to be difficult to contain this Canadian women's line. She's just got all the throws. She's going to be very athletic. But a mistake from her there. The, uh, the inside out Correct. up pitch was a bit ambitious, probably not necessary. Canadians could have worked it up a little bit more. They had cuts coming. And um, perhaps. Yeah, that was, a short field, that was a short field turnover that, you know, they might live to regret a little later on. But a lot of time left, a lot of time. You just get the feeling that this American offense, I'm going to give you the disc that often. And if they want breaks, you have to earn their breaks back hard. The Canadian offensive line again, Hammond. Disc through the middle, nice one to uh, number 91. That's Amory Carey, Amory Carey 91. Sends the disc to Lundgren, great ground from the sky, flows here beautifully, Laura Main chases that one down and Lundgren supplying another beautifully weighted disc, floated perfectly ahead of her receiver. No chance for the defender, fast running onto the disc from Main. Um, but Lundgren key again. And the score is 4-3. We're watching an absolute cracking game here in the women's final of the World Championships of Beach Ultimate from the beaches of Lignano Sabiadoro. Here in Italy on the North Adriatic coast. If you're wondering where we are, if you trace the boot of Italy up the right-hand side, round Venice, and along to the bit where it faces south. That's uh, where we are. This beach is littered, well, not littered, laid out beautifully with uh, hundreds and thousands of umbrellas keeping the sun uh, seeking Italians and Germans away from the, uh, keeping them, providing them with a little bit of shade during the heat of the day. But it has been hard work in the uh, 40, 39, 40 sort of degrees. Can you translate that into Fahrenheit for us, Tony? So it's about 85, 90 degrees uh, every day here, the high humidity. This is about this almost the same starting lineup we saw earlier. Marie Medeiros with the disc. Wine are running quickly and fast down there. A little high for disc. Hard to, to, to really trace that. Medeiros with a high disc for Julia. She can't, she can't rip that in. Kenna with the chance for a break. Gets deed up. Smart play. Med Mistake from the Canadians. Uh, gets it back. One there was of a captains. dump available there, but she didn't use it. It's going to be sent deep now. Oh, and a mistake from the uh, USA in return. Jacks that one with a little bit too much pepper for her receiver. It was at Medeiros running deep again. You can see she's a favored uh, option for the... The handling line here, always looking deep if Majerus is in the end zone. But that Majerus will, she's, she's young, she's, she's, she's fit, she's in perfect form and season. So, uh, you know, coming out of the college, the college ranks, so they'll use her everywhere she can. Only eyes for one person there, and the uh, Canadian Carey with the disc. swings it back and back across the far, this side of the pitch, near side. But Ooh, a mistake. Tip. Was that a tip Madaris from Madaris? got a Madaris, block yeah. on that, I believe. 
Ratcliffe with the disc to Medeiros. She's on the board again, Ratcliffe the supplier, but a turnover for the USA. And 5-3 the score, getting that um, score back in line. And uh, USA... It was a nice little hand block there by uh, Medeiros. But the Canadians seemed to be a little bit nervous in there when they had the disc there. Not the same composure we've seen earlier on in points. Well, that was the D-line. That was the D-line. the D-line for Canada. So, of course, they're not going to have that. Anya Hamann is one of the top players in the country. She wasn't out there. Lundgren, we saw what she can do. She wasn't out there. So we're going to see what their D-line, when they have the disc, whether they can score. That's an important factor for all teams. And uh, we saw what happened right here. Well, they did look nervous, Tony. And if the, the D-line gets the disc, that's, that's half a job. But they do need to be able to convert Absolutely. that to possession and score it. And the, um, the USA O-line putting on some pretty hot D themselves there to, uh, to get the sure. disc back. Sure, absolutely. Both, both these teams are quite capable of going either way. The, uh, the Canadians' offensive line, when they play D, that was, they're pretty good on D, too. Yeah. I'm not going to oh, lie. Oh, um, confusion amongst the receivers, and they get away with that one. The um, Canadian women uh, receivers there, all waiting for that pull to come in. None of them went to collect it. Luckily, the disc has gone out the back of the end zone. And Lundgren picks the disc up and brings to the brick mark. We're uh, fueled by pizza and cheap white wine this evening. Only a glass of cheap white wine, Tony. We are professionals. Correct. But, Vino uh, Blanco. Lundgren, Hammond, Jardine cutting, but Jardine closed down and uh, forces Hammond to go to Lundgren back across the pitch to, is it Carey? And to Jardine, Carey again. And Lundgren cutting, Hammond cutting, Hammer over the top to Lundgren. That's a nice this open up of space. Jardine cutting. He's going to float. Oh, look oh, at that disc from Lundgren. Goodness. Is he going to be inside? And she keeps her feet in the back of the end zone. Beautifully played from Kate Jardine. She keeps her feet in, takes the hand of her 42 shirt from uh, the USA. Megan Insko congratulating Jardine on a brilliant takedown. Keeps the toes in, keeps the disc alive, and brings this game back within 1.54 to the USA. Canadians not out of this one. No, very much within a shout of the USA at the moment. I don't know how she does those IOs. I, uh, the touch she gets on her IO throws from Lundgren is just amazing. And she, the, the disc barely stopped in her hands, Tony. She just she caught that hammer. She looked up. She could, she'd already seen Jardine uh, had gone, and the, the disc, uh, with so much um, speed, just perfectly weighted, got ahead of Jardine, allowed Jardine to approach the disc fast. Uh, but a, a great bit of receiving. We see the Mexican wave on the far side of the pitch there. The crowd enjoying this one down under the floodlights. And Lignano. And the staff running a very tight show here. Whistles uh, blowing. Looks like it looks like the starting lineup. Again, they're keeping a very um, consistent rotation here almost with a few players only subbing out. Uh, again, Renier, one of the captains. Medeiros out there. Julia Weiner. Tracy, uh, Trudy Phillips is going to pick up the disc, and I believe that's Radcliffe. So uh, very consistent. Gets it to uh, Medeiros. Medeiros is looking out for Julie Weiner. Julie Weiner makes this quick cut. She gets this disc. She wants uh, Renier underneath. She finds Renier in the back end. It's a foul. Looks like she was dropped. No call. So that disc was out of her hands when it was well, hit interesting. by Anne Marie Carey. Look at the USA 23 insisting that there should be a call, but at number 20. Uh, Sorry, I've, uh, I've lost the... It looked like a foul. It looked like it was still kind of in her hands when she released. Uh, Julia Weiner quite, quite insisting that there was no call there, but has she, has she now made a call? That seems very strange, Tony. Uh, well, we can't tell from here what, whether what she said or didn't say. She might have said foul the whole time and just was walking the other direction. So. But it, it looked like she was walking away and saying no call. But yeah, it looked, looked like she was making no call, but... Um, number Timeout call, USA. 5-4... Advantage to the Americans. It's Ty Cavallo, the, the cap on the number 23 shirt for the USA. Um, insisting that there should have been some sort of call on that because um, from her point of view, there was de definitely looked like a foul. Um, the number the 20 shirt, Julia Weinart, um, seemed positive there was no foul, but then changed her call. Not a popular decision with the fans, but uh, the players on the pitch seem happy with that one. <laughs> Uh, if you are watching online, just kind of a quick check of our uh, Twitter feed. We've uh, not been uh, keeping on it so closely. The action on the pitch, just um, 
very, very uh, interesting for us to watch. Uh, the USA line forming a line and swaying side to side. So uh, Logan Pendragon just wanted to give a shout out from Brazil to Tom Styles and Tony. I owe you a t-shirt. Keep up the good work from Paolo in Brazil. Thank you very much, Paolo. <laughs> t-shirt coming to me. <laughs> I'll have one of those as well. Uh, double O Frisbee, it looks like Ian. Is that Ian Thackera? So hello, uh, James Thomas. Keep up the awesome work. Is that for us? Yeah, I Can't think be. so. Uh, Rob McGowan's family watching in Edinburgh. They've just seen the uh, Mixed Masters final. Um, Mothew loving the WCU. Watching in Potsdam. Disc is about to be checked in. Julia Weiner. She's looking for Medeiros with a nice little S cut there. Medeiros quickly. Big sky in the end zone for Radcliffe for the score. That was a fast moving little like play they called there. If you saw this play, they had the, uh, the cutter in the back there. The, uh, the dump swing ran up the line, cleared out everything. Medeiros came back. It looked like she was going to go for a dump. Faked, came back up the line. They hit Medeiros, and then the original dump cut was in the end zone for the next uh, continuation for the goal. It was uh, very well executed. Madeiras' change of uh, direction there, Tony, was quite outstanding. She really does turn on a sixpence and managing to make herself available down the line. And when she's got the disc in her hands, she's looking for one place, one place only. And as you said there, the, uh, the called play during that uh, little timeout break, executed with perfection. Uh, somebody's saying that your mic isn't really working, Tony. Is it? Are we in, are we in right? I don't know. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. And we're trying to keep an eye out on uh, all our technical problems. Do let us know. Uh, one of our audio feeds is weak, so we're going to try and... Uh, is this audio feed weak? No, it sounds... Sorry, Tushar's got his headset on. Please let us know which audio feed is weak. <laughs> trying to solve our uh, technical problems for you here. And Justin Parkhurst watching. He was watching the Mixed Masters final. Uh, an American living in Great Britain. Mixed loyalties for Justin as the uh, Canadians start again. Uh, Carey, Lundgren, Hammond on the far side. Finds the disc to Hammond now. Hammond's looking at Lundgren down the line. Beautiful disc floated uh -oh. into space. Here she Makes goes. some yards. Gets absolutely destroyed by a very, very physical challenge from the 42 shirt of Megan Insko. That might be one of their, you know, things they're trying to do to try to stop her. Uh, uh, Fouling is not what you want to do, but there you have it. It wasn't. It wasn't a pleasant channel challenge, and the um, the fans in the in the crowd showing some disapproval with Insco's physicality there. And just charging straight through the shoulder of Lundgren, but uh, Lundgren back on her feet, looking for a pass. He's got a hammer option across the pitch. She so sends it down, and it's a uh, great play from the Canadians keeping that disc alive Insco and Lundgren again classing shoulders they're trying to cut themselves free Jardine chasing that disc across the end zone the put was from Carey but it was a little bit too far away from Kate Jardine well you saw they, they bodied her up after after that play she, when she got the disc out uh, you know Lundgren was trying to get back to the disc bodied up and was not able to get back to the disc, and another player had to try to make a play and threw it away, and the Americans got to be happy with that. So Rory here. with the disc, Titcomb slays underneath. Sussman, she's got somebody open. No, but she holsters it, comes back down. Now she's got a streaking, uh, I believe that's Anna shot. Drops it back down to Rory. Rory finds it. Oh, no, a poacher came underneath and grabbed it. Great play from the Canadians. That's Lundgren. Lundgren's everywhere. Gets it to Anya Harmon. Hammond's looking deep. No, she's going to try to find Lundgren. Of course, she's going to look for Lundgren. Let's see what Lundgren's going to do with the disc. She's got one in, over easy in the middle. That's an easy break for the score. Right oh, down the Canada. line. That was some sweet offense when those ladies got the disc back. And we saw Lundgren getting huge again, taking that disc down high. The one-twos, one-twos with Hammond. And then the flow across the pitch. The USA never catching up properly with those Canadian ladies striking. It was... Uh, Beautifully um, played from the Canadians. Yeah. Yeah. Oi. Are you okay, Tony? <laughs> Tony's getting excited by this game. Uh, we've got the 
a very close match here. We're watching USA versus Canadian women in the uh, final of the women's division at the World Championships of Beach Ultimate from the beaches of Lignano Sabiadoro. Uh, we've got Harvey from Clapham on Twitter. If you do want to communicate with us tonight, we will try and read out your tweets. Uh, hash WCBU2011. And um, great work earlier from the Philippines team beating Italy in their semi-final for the mat in the uh, Open Division to get it through to the final tomorrow. I hope you'll join us here on uh, the website. All right, Trudy Phillips. But right now, back to the action. Trudy Phillips, Kathleen Ratcliffe. Same lineup here again. Renier looking for Medeiros. Looks like Kathleen trips falling down. Now she's got to get it to uh, bailed out by a foul. So that's fortunate for the Americans because they didn't have much going on there. 6 5, a USA lead at the time. This is their starting lineup. They've really settled their lineups here. Renier uh, looks like she's trying to draw the foul and pops it up in the air. And that's going to be the case. Lundgren's going to scuba it back with disdain. It's, it's, a, it's a North American play that they It's a high-release backhand through the, through the body. If it completes, you call nothing. If it doesn't complete, there's the foul available. Uh, no, you call it right away, always. You call it so right away. If it completes, but you run down you, the field and you know, yeah, keep if playing. It, if it completes, you re retract your foul call. Um, it's not something we see in Europe so much. Well, what happens if your defender is bodying you, then one way to get them off you is to throw through them because they're following you on the mark. So it's to get a free throw off. It's a, it's a, it's a, common, it's a common thing. Trudy Phillip looking uh, downfield. She's got a streaker downfield in Medeiros, but <laughs> and can't Philip, get to her. Philip getting a bit of action back from Lundgren there. Not shy of a bit of body contact herself. And she, uh, Philip's shoulder was uh, bashed sideways by Lundgren. But hang on, the disc is going back. All the way back to Renier. I wonder if that's a contested stall call. Now, Laura Main and Renier in the, in the corner here. In the 33 for Canada. That was a travel on the throw. Travel on the throw call. They're sending everybody back. Okay. So let's see if this helps Canada out, sort of stopping the flow of the Americans uh, with some, some physical action, some physical play here. They still got Renier trapped on the sideline here. Physical play has stopped the flow temporarily. We got Rutterique. They got Lundgren on D. Now they're putting her everywhere. Anne-Marie Carey's out there. Rutterique. Who else is on the line for the Canadians on defense? Number seven, Kate Cavallaro. Laura Main pops it up too high. This should be an easy score for Canada. Whoa, that's a problem. Lundgren got too excited about that one and just kind of put up a floaty, floaty pass. That could have been a goal right there to, to, to even it up and... Instead, America's going to reset and, and have it have kind of a psychological advantage yes. immediately dropped. Mistakes Winer away. Drops the disc. The disc. Let's see if they can score again. Another floaty over the top. Laura Main underneath it. She takes it down. One hand high in the air. Slaps the disc to the ground in frustration, in celebration. The Canadians are back on even terms. Six apiece. We're watching a stunning final here. The women of Canada and the women of the USA. At it hard out here on the sands in Italy. Uh, well, you know what? They did. That physicality worked for them. They got the disc popped up in the air. They got them out of the rhythm. They got a drop disc out of it. Canada's defensive pressure got America out of rhythm. Now America's going to find out to respond because they're back on offense again. They got the same lineup. It was um, number 20. It was uh, Julia Weiner with uh, the mistake not to able to collect that uh, disc in the, on the far side of the pitch. So we've got a few people uh, getting in touch with us on Twitter. Uh, it's Capitals. Yeah, <laughs> hello, Capitals. How I believe you? Lundgren might be a Capitals player. They won Canadian Nationals 15-5, to I believe, was the final score over the Vancouver team traffic. So uh, they are for real, and they were in the, in the finals of the UPA Championships, I believe, two years ago. The Capitals, a very top uh, North American team. Perfect pull. Trudy Phillip gets it up quick to Kathleen, Phil Kathleen Ratcliffe. Ratcliffe finds uh, Weinert. Weinert's got uh, Sanderson on the side over here. Looking for Medeiros, who's speedy. Can't be stopped right now. 
Sanderson's coming on the undercut. Is it too low? No, she gets to it. Sanderson's looking for one yard deep. Trudy Phillip comes under. They get it to Trudy. Uh, Trudy drops the deck down to Medeiros. Medeiros swings it over to Julia. Julia gets it to Kathleen Radcliffe. Nice little put there. That should be a goal, and it is. To Medeiros, who's everywhere on the pitch. What a way to respond for the United States, Tom. Oh, Medeiros couldn't be stopped. She had uh, Hadia Rodrigue, no slouch in the speed uh, terms by any stretch, but she got nowhere near Madara, seemingly able to go wherever she wants on this pitch, unchallenged. She was just on the previous point. She's been on almost half the points. Medeiros is out there, on, you know, not tiring. Well, she, she, she goes one way so quick. Her marker goes with her. She changes direction. She goes back the other way just as quickly. And uh, she's going to wear people out with that sort of speed and that sort of endurance. Great play from her in this game and all the way through the tournament. Her stats tell her own story. If you haven't already, do check out the, the, the Ulti Organizer stats on the WCBU2011.org page. Look at the live stats. You can follow all these teams, read a little bit of bio on most of these teams and about where, you know, what they're bringing into the tournament and what they've got going on. Blockstack uh, TV videos are excellent to watch. Some interviews with players throughout the tournament. We got a really awesome final here, 7-6. The Americans with the advantage. Pulling to Canada right now. And let's see what they can do with Lundgren. See if they can stop her. She's going to get to the disc. No, nope. she's going to let it drop, and she's going to receive it. And here she is with it right now. So you see the same three handlers for uh, Canada, Lundgren, Hammond. And Carey, Carey cutting up the line now, floats that disc beautifully into a path. Um, Rory wow. Tickham right on her back, but not able to stop that disc. Jardine further down the pitch now with the disc. She's uh, got options forward, but a mistake from Jardine and a foul call. And uh, the foul from the USA, Megan Insko. A little bit... Um, a little bit too physical with her as the disc was released. No, no, the foul's been retracted. Great spirit and, uh, there. Good spirit under this sort of pressure. And giving the USA the disc. 7-6 is the score. USA one point to the good. And the Canadians. Oh, Kate Jardine bidding wow, hard. But really a beautiful take back. from Megan Insko. She did want that disc back. And now it's Lundgren. Takes the disc out ahead of uh, Rory Titcombe. It goes to the floor. Carey to Lundgren. Jardine so free. So free. Oh, she takes that down. The Canadians getting the turn back. Scoring it easily. And... Uh, Rory Titcombe and uh, Mal Lundgren just having a little bit of a conversation about the physicality of that uh, take from, from Lundgren. Uh, Titcombe's uh, just uh, gesticulating with her hands that she, she came through the back of her. It was certainly a very um, physical bid by Lundgren. She's a, she's a big player. She's an well, athletic again, player. Again, she read the swing pass. The Americans have got to realize she's in there reading the swing pass. They've got to get her out of that area. And Tom, 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 another thing I really love to see out here. As I would love to see Kate Chardine and Maria Medeiros on each other. Because oh. neither one of them can be stopped. They're running around the pitch like, you know, like they got like uh, the mercury, you know. It's just unbelievable speed out there. Well, actually, I think Kate Chardine is so much faster without her sand socks on. <coughs> she's, I've been watching a few of her games. She's uh, an impressive player. Physically quite short, but um, for pace, it really is hard to stop her. But uh, even tonight, uh, we're under the cool sands and the Discraft Beach Arena. And the disc lands just by our feet. Tom, we have a 7-7 seven, seven game, as you can tell. And uh, the time left is nine minutes. Nine minutes. That's about two, three scores, depending on how things go. Ratcliffe with the disc for the United States. They've got the break advantage. Um, and uh, Weinart out here. Tara Renier out here. Got Marie Medeiros, number 14, of course. Tracy Wu. Tracy Wu, number 82. There's Medeiros, centered ice out in the middle of the pitch. Gets out to the side for Weiner. That's a play call. Weiner fakes it to the center. She wants to rip it deep, but doesn't have the opportunity. Instead, gets it to Ratcliffe. Ratcliffe, it's a great diving catch on the sideline. There's a little bit of a call for I'm not sure what. Great layout, though. She really kept her toes down and was able to snag that disc. And Smart's change of defenders there. Laura Main was originally uh, marking um, Medeiros, uh, but she's uh, swapped up, and I think it's... And, and Marie Carey's on Medeiros now. That's a good match. Sorry, I've been uh, calling Carey, and it's Isabel LeMay has been number 28 all this time, so apologies to Isabel LeMay. And Marie Carey, number 91, 91 is, sorry, on, yeah. is on her. 
Over to Medeiros. She wants Renier. No. Goes back the other direction. Gets it to Tracy Wu. Tracy Wu wants a break mark, but no. Wisely swings it to Radcliffe. She did somebody punching in the corner, but no. Defense is really strong. Laura Main. There's a foul on the mark. Well, right back up in each other's face. Radcliffe and Main having a bit of a tussle out here. And um, they've swapped defenders again. Uh, Radcliffe goes to her knees. The stall can keeps going. She's uh, got back up. And a now foul is being foul. called. And I think uh, both players are a little bit frustrated by the uh, physical closeness of each other. I think they're sensing that this is a game within reach for both of them. Um, well, this no is the closest given, battle they've had. No one's given an, an, an inch. Yeah. No, not at all. The previous matchup between these teams was quite a one-sided affair. The USA coming out on top of that one. But uh, Canada have really sorted out their um, offensive problems from that previous game. And now it's Radcliffe for the USA. Across the pitch, uh, Medeiros. Oh, what beautiful a layout bears, catch. But the Americans come up with it. Had a with the bidding. Marie Medeiros with the backhand, punched into the corner. Looks like Renee laid out over another player to get to that disc. She wanted it, read it, knew it was coming the whole time. The captain makes a huge play for the team to put him up 8-7. This is a big, big game. So five minutes left on the clock in this one. Guys, we got another great final. Tom, you were there. I was there. We are both doing this game. Fury Uno last year in Prague. Oh, what a, what a game that was. Yeah, if you were able to watch the coverage, um, either the live streaming or on the Ulti Village uh, DVD of the Uno um, versus Fury match. It's it was, starting to remind me of that. Yeah, it is very, very close. It's I think it's the, the key element for me in that match was the totally different styles of play, whereas um, here we're seeing quite similar styles of play. Correct. Similar, certainly similar uh, levels of intensity from both these teams. But in this game, they're so evenly matched. The USA, one point to the good at the moment. They lead 8-7 against Canada. Got five minutes left on the clock before the time cap goes on. And the whistle goes to signal this defensive line. We see Titcombe again playing a lot of points out here, Titcombe. She's got the disc in her hand. We're going to see a very, very strong pull again from her. It floats close to the end zone line this time. It's going to be into the corner. It's a great pull from Titcombe. Lundgren, Hammond, high for Hammond. Vegas down here. Kelly Johnson's guarding Lundgren. Let's see if they can. She can get something on her. Oh my God! She makes her bit. Oh, that's. She gave all she could for that, but Lundgren still picked it up. To Lemay. To Hammond. Another high disc for Hammond. Nice score uh, one. Forward. Passing nicely. McMahon and the turnover comes. Mistake. Here for the States. This is a big opportunity for them. Sussman cuts one way. Goes the other way. This gets knocked out of the hand. No it call. Wasn't, it was just a throw into Melissa Mal Lundgren's hand into her back. She picks up the disc again now. Floats over the top to Hammond. The lady's looking tired out here. Jardine is a little bit beyond her. She uh, slowed down her cut as that. She looked so free. And she's been uh, caught by a bid from Rory Titcombe. She's a very slight player is uh, Jardine. She's gone down heavily. I think she's going to take a sub there. Well, I would say that Canadians' um, offensive, you know, D is stronger than the Americans' defensive O. Both players are now taking a sub. Rory's tired out, putting in Kathleen Radcliffe, a handler. That's a good call on the American side as they will be getting the disc and checking it in with Anna Schott on the line, Kelly Johnson, um, Radcliffe back here as right. the main handler. They're Radcliffe gonna... taking the time to pick this one up. She wants to let yeah. the field yeah, set they up. Need to, they want to ensure this score. This is a big score opportunity for the United States. Pressure from the Canadians. Big Shock bid there. It's, uh, still moving for the USA. Radcliffe looks uh, not able to swing the disc. Mal Lundgren causing all sorts of problems. Johnson picks it up. Vegas oh, what a disc from Johnson. Oh, what a beautiful inside out forehand. Finds Anna shot. That's a huge play for them right now. What a great bit of threading the needle work there from Kelly Johnson stepping up and finding her uh, feet just in time to thread that pass. Past the defender, a little bit of float, a little bit of IO. And that takes a lot of composure to pull that sort of disc off at this level of the game. It's 9-7, the Canadians beaten out of a couple of points by this hard defending USA line. And Rory Titkin back on the pitch for another pull. This is going to be the uh, final point uh, before the cap is going to be blown on. There's two minutes left in the game. 
9-7 advantage, so uh, if Canada scores, it'll be 9-8. Game to 10. If the United States scores, they'll put them comfortably in the driver's seat with a 10-7 advantage game to 11. So uh, Canada should put this one in uh, and, and make it 9-8, and then it'll be uh, a couple chances for the United States on offense to win the game. First things first, Canada's really, really strong O-line had a two, two bad turnovers there, unfortunately. And they're going to have to regroup here and uh, get the score in. Oh, this is a, this is a tense game, Tony. I'm, I'm feeling the tension just on the sideline. The mistake from the receiver there. Is, Le, is it LeMay? Oh, it's, no, it's changing the offensive uh, handling line. Hammond's taking a break. Manages to find... And Jardine's back on the pitch. He's found now. He has to grab one hand. Let's Lundgren going deep. deep. Accelerating uh, is going to be floating. Oh, is going to be floating. Oh, oh. Mal Lundgren running out of legs as she accelerated towards that one. There doesn't seem to be anything left in the tank. Oh. She's played a lot, Tom. She has played a lot of points. And uh, the Americans look tired coming back to the disc. It's finally starting to wear down on both teams now. But almost as soon as you saw that disc going to the sand, she so I turn around and calling the defensive play to her teammates. Telling them what they're going to do. She starts straight up force against Rory Titcomb. Titcomb finding Sanderson in the far corner. Sanderson to Titcomb Phillip. again. That's Philip. Oh, so Philip. Sorry, Philip in the corner. Philip back to Titcomb, back to Philip again. And a travel called. No stoppage. We're playing under whiff. Yep, rules there. Back in. Philip. Fortunately, the North Americans don't play that way. They play a stoppage. So, uh, but she's traveled back to in a direction I don't think she was intending her to travel back to. Mm. So the time her uh, whistle is gone, which means at the end of this point, we'll add one to the score, and that will be the target. So Philip in the end zone, in her own end zone, pressure over the top. It's going to be brought down by the Canadians. A throw away from the USA under a high stall count. Philip with nowhere to go. Sends it downfield. They've turned over in the middle of the pitch. Not too much damage done yet. Uh, can ca Canada capitalize on that mistake? Again, Canada's defensive pressure from their O-line is, is, is superior. And let's see if Lundgren can uh, get another score in here. Jardine's going to be the one they're looking for. Fast cutting. It's uh, Carey with the disc now. Sends it. It's going to float. It's going to be Jay Jardine chasing it down again. She's going to be out the back of the end zone. Uh, she saw the tape as she was accelerating towards that disc. Took the pace out of a run. She caught it easily, but the tape went under her feet two or three meters before she caught the disc in her hands. Titcomb goes to the disc again. Unfortunate break there for uh, unfortunate for Canada not to keep that disc in, in play. It would have been a good play, but a tough one. Okay, so uh, Titcomb sends the disc. It's floating high. It's going to be Jardine bidding on this. Oh, no, it's, great layout no, bid, but uh, it's too short there. She can't quite get to his Sanderson. And, uh, Someone got trucked. Tipcom <laughs> absolutely flattened by Lundgren again. Those two players, uh, no love lost there. Well, that was incidental but I think they, sure. they slapped hands. That was an accident. Tipcom prepared to accept that it was an accident, and uh, Lundgren apologizing. But it's still a, turn still a turnover? Yeah, definitely a turnover. Still a turnover. Kelly Bolt checks the disc for the Canadians. Lundgren will pick it up. They got to get. It's all about Jardine right now and Lundgren and Anne Marie Carey a little bit who's streaking deep. Is Anne Marie Carey going to have something in there? Jardine slices under and gets the disc. Disc finds Jardine down the line now. Beautiful disc. So she got to go. She's got um, LeMay cutting behind her. She's and um, um, is it 77? Is that uh, Sanderson? Yeah, Sanderson on defense. Marking. Got in here. Yeah. Jardine discussing, coming back in. And the disc is back in now. Jardine. And this down the line, uh, Lundgren cutting deep. She has to come back under again. There's no option there. Jardine cutting deep. No options here. Sends the disc across the top. It's going to be Lundgren underneath this one. But oh, how did she grab that? Oh, incredible. Sanderson with a great position on that disc. She went up early. Lundgren seeming to be grabbing an extra six inches out of nowhere. Bringing that disc down. And it is a 9-8 game. The Canadians fighting their way back into this one. The USA lead. Canada still in it. Pressure. So much pressure. The Monster grab there, Tom. Monster grab going up high. Now, here's the question. 
They, they're, their offensive line has been playing great defense. They need their top players on right now. This is their best players they can possibly put on Canada. So let's see. Are they going to be run out of gas? Who are they going to put on the line right well, now? It's interesting. We've Lundgren seen can't get out of the game. They uh, have to keep her in there. We've seen Hammond going back to the pitch now. Hammond, a safe pair of hands on O. She is a great, she is one of the top players in North America. Anya Hammond, she's been one of the top players for a while. So. <laughs> for a number of years. Yeah, so. a number of years. So. She, she spent uh, four, maybe three or four years in the UK. She was one of the top players in the UK uh, while she was there. Yeah. Uh, she's a very, very experienced set of hands. So, uh, can, so, so, so we see Hammond out there, Kate Cavallaro. Uh, Hadi uh, Roderick. Hadi Roderick. Hadi Roderick. Now looks like the offense Maine for the again. United States again. Uh, it looks like they're same steady. Oh, Julia Weinert, Marie Medeiros, of course, is out there. Tracy Wu. We've got Kathleen Radcliffe and Tara Retnier for the game for the United States. And the disc is going to sail out of bounds. So an advantage already for the United States. A little too much energy from the Canadians on the pool. So it's interesting to see the Canadians shortening the line. To, um, they have to, Tom. They just have to at this moment. Well, they, what they need is the turn, but they need to score when they get the disc. And they figure this group of players is the best I'm group a little of players. surprised and disappointed that Jardine's not in there. And are we seeing a zone here, Tony? Straight away, the Canadian setting up with a slightly different formation. Oh, Tom, it's so hard to put a zone on when it just sails out of bounds. This it could just, be a critical is error. Is it just Rodrigue's poaching? Why not? Uh, very deep. In fact, all, all the American players getting a big poach on them. Uh, Rodrigue's gone deep, but she's uh, managing to cover the, the play so far. Madaras. Laura there's a call, Main on call, there's a call. There's a call. Looks like a pick. Looks like they've gone two man. I think that's a proper decision. It, yeah, it was just a very poachy setup, the way they set up there. Just trying to yeah. cut out the open options in the lane. Turns. Madaras. Down to Radcliffe. Radcliffe over to Wu. Wu looking up for Renier. Can't find her. Tries to get it back to, to Radcliffe. She's covered by Lundgren. Hammond with the point block for Canada. She Huge sets off player. into the end zone. Lundgren picks the disc. Ooh. Hammond comes back under again. Roderick, Maine. A timeout call by Lundgren. What perfection wow. of the time in there. Captain's just agreeing what uh, the stall count was up to when she called it. We saw the point block from Hammond. Hammond set off with some, some business about her. But uh, Hey, that was great defense all the way around. That's what you call five-person defense. She didn't have any uh, lanes to throw to. Downfield was covered. The dump was, uh, Radcliffe was covered. Uh, by Lundgren, who already made two Ds coming on the under on the undercuts, on the dump, on the dump and the swing. So there you have it, a hand block. And uh, this could be – that's why you've got Anya Hammond in the game, and that's why you've got Lundgren in the game right now because they're going to be the ones that we're going to be looking for to put the disc in the end zone right now. If you're uh, sitting at home and you're, and you're thinking of something to do and you don't know the answer to the question, you could always have a guess at how old Anya Hammond is. You'll be wrong. I'm well, going to say... No, no, you, you probably do know. <laughs> you certainly know how long she's been playing for. I can say she can play in my division. As I'm, I'll, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I think she could quite comfortably play in the division above yours as well. <laughs> um, but uh, we've got uh, a lot of people watching. Um, we've got uh, Carl C. Note, Carla C. Note watching. Caps Ultimate are watching. Jackie Johnson's watching. Thank you very much, you all. Uh, Shell Doel. Scorcher74 is watching on Twitter. Hello to all of you. Lots of chatter going on on the Twitter tonight. Uh, we've got some amazing action for you here from the beaches of Italy. The World Championships of Beach Ultimate. You're listening to the voices of Tom Styles And Tony Leonardo. And we hope you're enjoying it wherever you are. Please do let us know by tweet or by email. Uh, just or get on the Facebook group. And the plays back in. Mal Lundgren. Floats oh, wow. over the top. Terrible dish from Lundgren. Here's Brings it straight call. down. No call on the play. She looked like she got that off clean. I thought it might have been a foul, but Lundgren's not calling a foul. Now it's a United States turn again on offense. Let's see what kind of defense Canada brings. Radcliffe wants to streak her deep. Medeiros is going to come under. Uh, Roderick is right on her. Medeiros has lost a step, maybe. High stall count. Laura Main brings Huge that dish down. Oh. Medeiros got stuffed up there and wasn't able to get the, the under. And that uh, kind of like fouled up the Americans' plans right there. They didn't seem to be able to get the dump out either. The Canadians marking all the options away. And uh, Lundgren trying to make up for a mistake previously. Main to the, to the ground, catches that disc, two hands. Hammond cutting around at the back there, finds Lundgren again. But so much pressure from the USA. Hammond, once more, free with a pick call. I don't think it was Hammond that was picked. Looks like uh, Madaras, oh no, not Madaras, 23 for the uh, USA. 
Is that Ty, yeah. Ty Cavello getting up? She was calling the pick, wasn't it? Ty Cavello, number 23. Oh, yeah. There's the mistaken jerseys out there. That's Renier. Is that, not, is that Renier? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Am I reading off the wrong roster? No, I'm not. Yes, it's Ty. Yeah, they be. might. She might have been I recently be. married. She might have. No, her might be name, her last name roster. might have changed Carvalho to, to uh, Lundgren over the top. It's going to be oh, Hadi Rodriguez oh, had this no for Canada. They've tied it up. It's nine each. Oh, what a game we're watching right here. The sand went flying up in the air. Rodriguez spiked it down to the ground. That's an emphasis point there. They've really taken the momentum right now with the Canadians. The Americans are going to have to regroup here. It's have double to put their top sudden line on. death, Tony. Double well. game point. For the ch double championship point. Let's be serious about this. We're talking about the World Championships with Beatles with the gold medal on the line. The Why you play America. the game. <laughs> These players loving the atmosphere. The crowd are on their feet. The Canadian flags are waving. Crowd behind us going crazy. That one. USA chanting. The flags are waving over there as well. We are, wherever you are, you're watching this game, you're enjoying it, you're into the atmosphere. I really haven't felt tension like this all the way through this championships. Both these teams. Oh, this is great. This is a really awesome game, it's, i got to say. It's, it's amazing really stuff. This. Amazing. <laughs> the, the noise in this stadium is incredible. Players Expect walk. either the Americans or the Canadians to rush the field after this one. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. Ah. <sighs> I'm a little bit out of breath, Tony. I'll try so look, and compose look, myself. Let's see, who's on, let's see what's on offense. Rory, the D-line captain and one of the captains of the team, is coming out on offense now for the Americans. She's got Marie Medeiros. She's got Kathleen Radcliffe. She's got Julia Weinart. And Jen Sanderson, I believe. 77, is that correct? So this is the line for the Americans to win the game versus who's coming down quick on, on D for the Canadians right now. Lundgren, of course, in the game. Kate Jardine is in the game now, guarding Medeiros. That's what we wanted all along. Oh, a slip mistake. up. Sanderson can't hold it in. Lundgren with the chance. She's got Marie and Marie Carey going deep. Swings oh, it too far to Jardine. Americans now have a chance. Double They're going to slow it down. In this stage in the game. Can you believe it, Tony? Radcliffe looking for Medeiros deep. She puts it up to Medeiros. Jardine is on her. It's going to float. It's going to stay in. It's too oh. far out of the bounds. And Medeiros have made such a brilliant cut. She got away from Jardine. Not an easy job at any stage of the game. Yeah, Both absolutely. Both players tired with a disc from Radcliffe was just wrong. Not quite in the pitch. Not quite the perfection we've seen from this American handling line so far. Frustration from America. But frustration from Canada. Well, they've already got this turnover once in the middle of the pitch. Now they've got it again, but it's right back in their own end zone. They're going to have to work the full length. Well, we've seen the defense it almost has an advantage. That might be a field position advantage for the United States. I don't mind that punt right now because the defense has been running off a lot of points. Both teams are tired. The defense runs hard. They're going to stuff up all the undercuts. Jardine's the key here. She's got the speed out there. Let's see if she can get open. Lundgren with the disc. Lundgren looking. She's got no options at the moment. She's going to have to think of something quickly. Yeah, she floats that one up. Damary Carey. He gets Fair teed up by Kathleen Radcliffe. Radcliffe with a huge D. The floaty disc from Lundgren was just a little bit too loose. Couldn't be brought down. Uh, I was thinking the defense has the advantage here now. Let's see, American with a shorter field. That worked out to have Radcliffe's advantage to send it deep. She got tick home on the swing. He's not even guarding her. They're giving a free dump to, 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 to Rory. Laces an I.O. Oh. too far. But there is too much speed. There's a call. a call. Crowd does not I like it. I, I couldn't see anything wrong with the release of that disc. She's saying on her follow through, she hit the and she the crowd, hit Lundgren. The crowd cry vocal with that. Mal Lundgren contesting it. Uh, it looked like the disc went it, where she was intending. Uh, but Tickham demonstrating quite clearly what she felt happened in that situation. It's difficult to say in this um, in this uh, cauldron of a stadium. Probably difficult to discuss anything out there right now with the crowd making their feelings very clearly felt. Well, the two are discussing it right now. Yep, they're being calm about it. It's going to be tough to for this call to come back, I, I feel, that Rory's not yeah, going to be able very, to. Yeah, very, very tough, tough to retract a call like that yeah. once you've made it. Uh, double game point like this. Yeah, um, it was uh, it's coming in on zero. And it's, uh, it's in again. Tickham. 
looking for options, closing it down for the USA. She finds the same distance again, Madaras on the far side of the pitch. The Jardine marking. Oh, she's Rackett got Radcliffe the I.O. She oh, gets it to her. Game, the USA. That's the game winner on the I.O. Up the line to Kathleen Radcliffe for the United States. Marie Madaris throws the score. And uh, very sad to hear the uh, crowd booing that point from the USA. They've won this game. The score is 10-9. Uh, the United nine. States of America wins the gold medal. The 2011 World Championships of Beach Ultimate, eclipsing the silver medal from last year, or 2007, I should say, on an I.O. forehand up the line from Medeiros. Uh, you know, what looked like maybe an iffy foul call over here in the beginning from, uh, on an I.O. from, from Titcomb trying to get up to Medeiros, but the touch wasn't there, so maybe she felt she got hit at the time of the release or on the follow-through. Well, it'd be a shame if this game was remembered for that foul call because what we've seen right here is uh, one of the best exhibits of uh, women's ultimate uh, I've seen in, in, a, in, a, in a year. Well, since the Uno Fury final from the uh, World Clubs. Uh, fabulous game. Both, uh, both sets of players putting themselves on the line. Some great skill. Uh, very, very good game for the neutral. Enough mistakes to keep it interesting. High pressure. Um, high tempo ultimate from both these teams and uh, North American ultimate, especially the women's game on the beach, is in a good place right now. Oh, a little bit lost for words after that one, Tony. It was uh, the USA take the gold medal from the World Championships of Beach Ultimate from the beaches of Lignano, Sabiadoro, under the floodlights in the Discraft Beach Arena. The Italian beach. A it's scorched a great game, all week. Tom. It has been a absolutely fabulous game. The two teams huddle up now, having shaken hands. They're going to discuss what's happened here. Uh, the Canadians played a great game. They uh, <coughs> played a great game against Great Britain in the semi to get through this far. The USA have looked strong all week, only losing one game to Great Britain. Interesting that we saw at the end of the game there, the defense was, was going to be the deciding factor. Um, there were two turnovers point and whoever was on defense seemed like they were gonna they were gonna win so it's like it's almost like the United States gave up the disc just so they can get field position to be on defense well I, I saw four turnovers Tony oh two from each side correct. two from each side yeah. yeah yeah it was um it was definitely definitely not the um the most solid of O points there we saw mistakes but uh just a, just a pressure D it's just a real good pressure D from both sides we want to thank you everybody for watching and uh you know, two great squads here, very well composed. Uh, just played a great game. And congratulations to both teams, really. And don't forget, we'll be back here tomorrow night uh, with three more live games. The games, I think, are going to be starting at 4 p.m. Uh, but um, there's a little bit of movement in the schedule still. If you uh, are, be, are going to be able to join us, we're going to be seeing the uh, Masters final first off followed by the mixed final and finally the open final. And that open final is going to be contested by the Philippines and the USA. And we see the Canadians and the US women huddle up now and exchange their comments after a very tightly contested game. Tom, just one note I want to, I want to uh, bring up is they might change the times for tomorrow for the games. They might move everything back one hour. We'll try to keep you informed on that. If you're listening and watching now, just keep in mind that the Open Final might be one hour delayed. Yeah, we've got a lot of people watching. Uh, Seattle Riots are watching. Hello, you guys. Gwen Ambler's is watching. Uh, Tachichi. Apparently, we've been uh, saying her name wrong. It's uh, Rainier. 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 Instead of Rainier. <laughs> <laughs> the, time to send the, the time to send those tweets is uh, an hour ago, I'm afraid. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I apologize. Right. I hope that she doesn't mind so much uh, when she watches the game back. Uh, Caps Ultimate watching uh, WR Fame Farm. Uh, watching. And um, I, is that Mexican? Mm, yeah. Oh, maybe Brazilian, maybe Portuguese. He's wearing a Brazilian shirt in his uh, Twitter profile pic, maybe. Maybe coming from now there. Scorcher 74 watching. Send us a uh, Skype message. And, uh, <laughs> so thank you very much, everyone, if you have been watching. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed the coverage. Uh, we've been able to bring you from the Italian beaches tonight. Uh, myself and Tony Leonardo have been, uh, been covering this one. I think we're going to be 
We're going to be uh, thinking about the medal ceremony for this uh, women's game. I think I think that's going to be tonight. Do you know if the medal ceremony is going to be tonight for the for the women's? I'm just trying to clarify that now. And uh, the women. So uh, do tune again in again tomorrow night. Uh, I would like to thank our sponsors, Five Ultimate, Discraft, Hero Disc, and all our silver sponsors as well, whose uh, logos and links you can find just above the show player on the website you're watching this game on. Uh, the tournaments like this don't run without the sponsors. And we do appreciate our support from our commercial partners. This is uh, Tom Styles going to be signing off for a moment. We will come back if the oh, we're going to be starting the medal ceremony in two minutes. So I'm just going to run off and uh, interview the Great Britain's uh, Mixed Masters women for Blockstack TV. You can watch that on uh, Blockstack.tv. But uh, I'll be back in a minute. Or Tony, Tony may take you through the medal ceremony. Hello. Sorry, guys. Yep. Okay. Uh, Bula President Patrick van der Valk uh, is ready uh we'll make a short speech and then we'll start with the ceremony ladies spectators beach ultimate lovers so far i have been an extremely happy person we have had great games and to finish the friday with a wonderful, wonderful final is just icing on the cake. I would like to thank everybody, all the teams, 
for putting up such a great show for everybody in Italy, for around the world where I know there's a lot of people watching, and this was great. So I would like to introduce Sandy Hammerly from the WFDF board, who's going to give all the medals to the winners. In third position, GB! And in second place, winning the silver medal after an amazing, amazing final. Thank you, Thank you so, so much for this wonderful show. Yeah. 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 I cannot have done it for you. Highly intense, highly fun. Team Canada!
Metal Warriors, Team USA! And Beach Ultimate would not be the same without spirit of the game. It is something that keeps us all together. It's something we all love. And so it's a great pleasure to tell you that the winners in the women's division of the Spirit of the Game Award is Team France! France, if you're here, please come to the main arena. Guys, this was an amazing final, uh, an amazing week. Thank you very much, you all. This is the feeling that Admir brings to sport. And uh, I have goosebumps, guys. Thank you very much. For you all who fly here, and uh, tomorrow night, we'll have our three amazing finals. Well, tomorrow afternoon. We'll have other three amazing finals. Masters, mixed, and open divisions will... Uh, open the uh, first final will start around four o'clock here at the main arena. Thank you very much, guys.
Yeah, I guess, right? Or I can come over to here. You tell me. Tell me where I'm good. You're always good. Okay, guys. Hey, we really want to thank you for watching the World Championship of Beach Ultimate, the three awesome games that we had today, the Mixed Masters Final, the Grand Masters Final, and here the Women's Final, an amazing game. It's been a delight to have you watching, a delight for everyone to watch this game, and we'll see you tomorrow.